Hi everybody, welcome back to Cooking with Grandpa. This is Joe. Today we're gonna to do something special. My grandson, who made for his friends garlic and oil, has come over and he wants to do it on a video. So we're gonna make have him do it and I'm gonna be in the background. He's my video editor and now he's gonna be the cook. Let welcome in Lorenzo. Hi everyone, I'm gonna be making garlic and oil. So, oh, and here's my apron there, buddy. <laughs> Ready? He's a little too tall for me. <laughs> so here's what you'll need. Um, about one head of garlic, two cups of Italian parsley, um, which you need to like finely chop, about two, sorry, about a half a cup of olive oil, um, one pound of pasta, we're using fettuccine, and our secret ingredient is anchovies um, to add a little bit of saltiness to it. Of course, you could not use them at all, but you'll see they'll just disintegrate into it, add a perfect amount of salt, or you could substitute it for just like a little more salt in the recipe. So let's get started. Okay, so it's time to put our pasta in because our water's boiling. So, wait. We have some salt that we're gonna put in. So that, so put that in. And then we have our pasta, our fettuccine that we're gonna put in. If you want, you could break it, but I'm not gonna break it. Cause I'm not gonna break it. Grandpa usually breaks it, but he's not. <laughs> yes, I'm not gonna break it. I'm just gonna, you know, try to get it all in. Because once it's in the water for like a couple seconds, it, it'll soften, so you can get it all actually incorporated into the water. Then, we're gonna set our kitchen timer for, uh, okay. for 12 minutes. So let's do. When it's supposed to come to work. Yeah, but 12 minutes is a good time, right? Yeah. Okay. You're gonna test it anyway. Oh wait, here. Here's one. Start. Okay, so now we're gonna put our um, olive oil in and start that. Wait. Start our olive oil, and now is when you would um, put the anchovies in. You put it in while it's still like, you know, cool, cooled off. But you just have to keep on stirring uh, the anchovies around to make sure they properly dissolve into the olive oil. So, as I said before, the sardines are just gonna disintegrate into, um, into, the, olive into the olive oil. And when I'm, there's a lot of bubbles and I'm starting to hear that it's like kind of sizzling. So I think we're ready to add in the garlic. I'm gonna add it right in and saute the garlic. So as you can see, the garlic is getting pretty brown because it's cooking and getting sauteed in the olive oil. And the the sardines, anchovies. I said sardines before. Sorry, the anchovies are almost fully dis, uh, dissolved in the in the oil. So now that I drain my pasta. I'm gonna slowly add it to my garlic and oil and anchovies. So we're gonna turn off the heat for that. And I have some tongs and just add a little bit of pasta um, at a time. And you know, stir around with the tongue. Yeah, with the tongue, yeah. So. And you just add, you know. Cause this is how you're gonna get it fully, you know, incorporated by adding and mixing. Cause you know, if you just pour it over the, the pasta, it's not gonna be fully like incorporated. But if you do it like this, that's how you get it fully together. Thank <laughs> you. 
to be it. And yep, no, now we're gonna add our parsley, which we finely chopped. Mm -hmm. That's a nice yeah, add a little bit of that time, sorry. And of course you could change the amount of parsley, depending if you like it or not, how much you want. Um, waiting. Yeah, but that's that's it. So now we're just gonna, I'm putting it in our bowl. And we also have some pasta water that we saved um, if you wanna sprinkle it on, um, which I'll do once I get all the pasta. So, let's get that too. Anyone? Roll that well in. Because this is where all the flavor is. All of the oil will go in. And garlic, parsley, every, every flavor. So we added our pecorino, pecorino Murano cheese on the top, and here it is. I'm gonna try it. Mm. It's really good. You're supposed to curl that around that fork. I know, but it's really good, really flavorful. All the flavors are really necessary. But again, if you don't want to use the um, the anchovies. Just substitute it with salt because it does add that extra salt saltiness to it. It's really good. So okay. thanks for watching. Thank you, people. Come back, subscribe, and thank you, Lorenzo. You did a great job. Thank you. Bye. Hi. So oh, wait, I started over.